In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you some of the enhancements and changes in the Paint Designer in PowerDirector version 17. We're going to contrast that with version 16, which is typical of many of the later versions. So we have version 16 on the screen. We'll highlight some of its features and show you how it's different from version 17. When you open it up, you have two modes. You have a brush mode, which is your default mode, and then you have an inverse mode. When you click on inverse mode, you can use that to reveal items rather than conceal them by drawing on top of them. But before you start your recording, you have to pick one or the other. Once you start recording, you cannot switch. Now, in order to draw, if I start to draw, let's take the pen tool. I'm going to pretending we're drawing on top of this, it says you need to select the record button before you can start painting on the canvas. That is changed in version 17. You don't have a record button and which that's a nice new feature. We'll tell you about that in a moment. But you have six different tools in version 16 to draw with. And you simply click on the tool and then you can start to draw once you press the record button. We'll do that in a moment, but one thing I want you to notice is that in version 17, we don't have six tools, we have four tools. You won't find the pencil tool and you won't find the marker tool in version 17. You'll also find something additional in version 17. Here we can change the color. Let's click on the pen and I can change the size down here. This is the same. I can change the color with the eyedropper or I can click here and choose my color selectors. But in version 17, it will remember your last half dozen color selections so that you can simply click on those. In both versions, you can show the current timeline image as background or you can turn that off and you'll get your checkerboard, which is symbolic of transparent. So that's the same in both. In both of them, you can also click on the button to insert at the current timeline position. So you have both of those options. But one thing that, that is much improved in version 17 is you don't have to press the record button before you start. In version 16, you do, and you simply click on it. You watch your counter start to move up, and then you can make your color selection and do your drawing. Let's take another one for fun. We'll click back here and we'll choose a different color. We'll choose a blue. We'll make it slightly smaller. We'll go from a pen maybe to um, chalk. And then we have a different kind of texture here. And we'll use the eraser and that will erase whatever uh, we are in front of here in working with our drawing. And when we're done, we click on the button to stop the recording and it will stop that and either insert it in our timeline or it will insert it into our PIP file once we click on OK to save that. I click on OK, it wants a name. I'll call it junk for now. And now it saves it in my PIP room as a custom PIP that we can use. I didn't put it in the timeline, but I can drag down here and put it in the lower track. And now it will be starting to draw in front of my picture, even as it did in the preview screen. That's a little bit about how 16 works. Now let's look and see what the difference is in version 17. We're in version 17 now, and one difference is how I get into the paint designer. In version 16, I have to click on my PIP objects room and then click on the picture of the crayon or pencil at the top. In version 17, there's a quicker way to get there. That's to click on the plugins and then choose my paint designer. We're going to do that now. You notice in the paint designer in version 17, I only have the four tools, not the six. And again, I have seven different colors I can select that are recent colors that I can use. We also have another feature here. We have one called Reference Frames. One is from Timeline, 
and the other says from clip. What's the difference? Well, if I choose from timeline, which is my normal option, we have a media clip at the current time position. That's the background. So that's much like what we had before. If I turn that off, we have our transparency. The other option I have is I can actually use a different clip, not on my timeline. If I click on that, it will open up my options and I can pick a different clip and use that as the object that is kind of the background that I'm going to draw on. We won't do that in this case. Another new feature is I have a background transparency. I can take the background and I can dim it, make it uh, more transparent, less opaque, uh, as much as I want to when I'm doing my drawing on top of that. The other option we have on the left side at the bottom, instead of a record, I have the option to determine how long the playback is going to be. So this sets the duration of my paint designer pip that I create. Let me show you how that works. We also have a freeze option. In both of them, we have an insert at current time position. So that hasn't changed at all. Let's take our pen. We'll use this yellow line here and we'll draw around the candies. Now we'll switch to a red one. We'll make it bigger and we'll do an outside line of some sort here. And then we'll try a green line. I'll make it larger yet. And we'll put a big smile in here and a couple of eyes. There we go. Here's our little candy monster. Now, how fast this draws is determined by the playback. My default is five seconds. And so if I do the play right now, all those lines will be drawn within five seconds. But I can change the playback here, which actually changed the duration. Let me change it to three seconds and watch the difference. So I've actually changed the duration by changing the number. The freeze is how long the final image will be on the screen. Let's change that from 0 to 2 seconds. And when I play it, it takes 3 seconds to draw it, and it freezes on the screen for 2. Now, both in version 16 and in version 17, once I have this on the timeline, I can adjust it anyway. But this is a nice way to change it before it goes to the timeline. So if you're if you want to be very precise without editing it on the timeline, you can edit it right here in terms of length of time it takes. So let's assume this is close to what we want. We'll simply click OK. We'll get the same pop-up screen about a custom template. I'll call this junk number two and press enter. And it has entered this into my options of my custom pip objects. Again, I did not opt to drop it into the timeline uh, where the indicator was. I could have done the same or I can just do it manually and drag it down and put it in any video track. And again, if I want to override whatever duration I have, if I look right now, it's five seconds. I had three seconds plus two seconds. I can always elongate it or I can click on the clock and change the duration to a specific number. Maybe I want, say, uh, 30 seconds and zero frames. And click on OK. And now I have the duration of this particular pip object overlaying my uh, candies that are falling in my clip above. So that's the basics on how this particular tool, the Paint Designer, has been changed and how you can use it in PowerDirector version 17 as opposed to 16 and most earlier versions.